Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also click the bell icon right next to the subscribe button. So the much awaited Adobe XD release of January is finally here and it has a lot of new cool features. So let's just get started with this video. So the very first feature is called, so the first feature is called Smart Layout. It is very similar to Auto Layout in things like Sketch and Figma, but it has a few differences. So I will select this entire group and I'll click on Command K or Control K. As you can see, this is a button and I haven't set anything yet. Now under Layout, I have an option called padding. If I turn on this option, I will get options of different paddings. So padding on the top, bottom, left and right. That is what this is indicating. Now if I change the text, so if I write Adobe XD rocks, see how the button also expands along with the padding. The padding will stay the same, but the text can change. Now the direction in which the button size will move depends on what alignment you've given to the text. So the text could be right aligned and in this case it will move to the left. So Adobe XD rocks. Hello. See how the button now moves to the left. So depending on where the text is placed or how it is aligned will determine how the button will expand. Now Smart Animate works in more ways than one. So if I create a rectangle inside XD and that rectangle, um, let me just put it behind this Adobe XD rocks. This rectangle can be any other color. Let's just make a darker version of this color. So for example, I basically group these together and say Command K or Control K. I can set the padding for this as well. So we're just setting this to the default padding right now. If I move this button, see how this uh, background reacts. It maintains the padding on both top as well as bottom. And of course, since uh, it contains the innermost uh, component, if I increase the size of this button, then it also expands with this. I don't know what this means, I've just typed it out. But it looks good and even if I say press enter, it will increase in height. See how it adjusts? Um, now there's a little bug for uh, it does take time to adjust to the padding and everything else. Looking good Adobe. Now that was pretty cool. What's the next feature? If I go to the left, I have this triangle icon. I can click on it. It's basically the polygon icon and I can quickly go ahead and create a triangle. Now we have a third option here, which is called the star ratio. And what the star ratio allows you to do is allows you to create basically create a star based on a certain percentage. So if it's, it is something like 80%, it will be more like a triangle. Um, if it is, if I set it to 10%, it will be like this thin star. If I increase the number of sides this triangle has, so if for example, this triangle has something like uh, five sides, I can then change the ratio of the triangle to say something like 60, and I create a perfect triangle. Let's let's just give this this blue, nice blue color that we have here. Oh, looking good, looking really good. If I click, if I say 12 sides, it just keeps on increasing. So you can change the ratio from here. You can make it even thinner, 50%, and you can make make it have five sides or six sides or 24 sides. Why do I care? Now, some other features I, I will not be able to show you since I'm not much of a developer are drag and drop in XD plugins, which basically means you can drag elements from uh, outside from a certain folder into Adobe XD, which basically means you can import assets directly into Adobe XD by dragging and dropping for your plugin. That's pretty cool, I think. Uh, sh sharing improvements. Of course, you can select a single artboard and publish it to a shared link in share mode. I think that's pretty cool also for people who uh, like to present their designs. That's pretty cool. Rest, I will be sharing a, a blog post from Adobe, um, which has a written description for whatever I just said. I post every Monday and Thursday. So hope to see you next week. God bless.